there was a restaurant in, how do you pronounce this, San Mateo, California. And the owner of the restaurant let it be known. I guess he went to social media and he let it be known that if you want to wear a MAGA cap in his restaurant, you can expect not to be served. Kind of a Jim Crow, only instead of banning people because of the way they look, they're banned because of the way they think. Blue people are in, red people are out. No MAGA caps whatsoever. All right, Barry, before you uh, run away with this, I want to ask you, have you ever noticed, and I've noticed this, I don't know that anybody else has, but when you see these coexist bumper stickers, have you noticed that they're always on white people's cars? <laughs> uh, you know, it is a very one. progressive statement, believe me. And That's the right. ignorance of that bumper sticker astounds me. You've got the symbol of Judaism, You've got the symbol of Christianity, and you've got the single the the, um, the symbol of Islam all together. Can't we just coexist? Well, two or three of those religions believe in coexistence, and the third believes in domination, subjugation, slavery, and elimination of the other two. So <laughs> anyone that's dumb enough to put that bumper sticker on their car ought to take out the Old Testament and read it. Take out the New Testament and read it, and then take out the Quran and read it. And if they still want to put that bumper sticker on their car, God help them, they really don't read quite well. So you can you can coexist with Muslims, but you cannot coexist with Trump backers. I don't get the logic. <laughs> All right, what do you think of this, yeah. this uh, Christian, not Christian, but this uh, anti-Trump uh, restaurant guy? You know, I, I have two thoughts on it. Um, on the one hand, I don't like being forced to be exposed to things you don't believe in. In other words, if you're in business and you don't believe in gay marriage, but you are forced to do things to support gay marriage, as an example. Or uh, you really hate Trump and Trump's policies, but you have to support a Trump group that wants to rent your restaurant. I kind of get the idea that you ought to be able in commerce to do that. But there's a really fine line between that and discrimination. Where do you draw the line? Is it the Trump hat on a white guy? Is it a Trump hat on a black guy? Is it a Trump hat on a brown guy? Who do you get to keep out and why? And that's a really tough decision. Nobody's making so much money in business that they can make a proclamation, half the market, half the people out there don't come to my place of business. Don't buy my food, don't buy my booze, don't buy my clothes, don't buy my sporting goods. It's, it's like, are you making so much money you can cut your business in half and still be a success? I think it's stupid from a commercial entrepreneurial point of view. That restaurant in Virginia some months ago that had gone after the guy in the MAGA hat is already out of business. Yeah. They lost half their clientele the first day when they put the sign out. I predict the same thing will be happening here. For a couple of weeks, all the progressives will say, oh, this is great, a Trump-free zone. But they're not going to be eating dinner out four nights a week. He yeah. just cut off half his business. That's a poor business model. I'd be shocked if his business survives.